that you are happy in the Lord. Yeah. Young people, you may be seated for a few minutes. We'll worship again in just a little bit. God bless you. It's good to see you, all of your smiling faces. How many of you know when you live for God, there's reason to be happy? Yes. Amen. And so when you live for God, there's reason to be happy. Amen. Right. And you know, I, I've always wondered, for people who say they live for God, who say they're believers, who say they love God, how is it that they can live a life of such depression? That seems impossible to me, you know? For example, I married a wonderful, beautiful, lovely young lady. She was just my, my size. She, she had the, the blue eyes and the blonde hair. And what I mean by size means, I mean, you were bigger than me. That's what I meant by that. And, you know, and... And it would be it would be impossible for me to to to, to live life sad when I'm married to her. That's right. And, and likewise, how is it possible to live a life for Christ and be depressed all the time? Right. Doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me that you could live a life for Christ and be depressed all the time. It makes no sense to me. If you are living a life in alignment with the Word, in alignment with the Father, in alignment with God, I believe that you will be alright. That everything's going to be alright. You remember that song? I've got a feeling everything's going to be alright. I believe that if you live in alignment with the Father, that everything's going to be alright. I'm just so blessed that you're here. We had an amazing weekend last weekend at Refuge 2013. And I believe that it's just the beginning of a supernatural shift, not only in us personally, but in our church, in our ministry, and also in this city. I believe that what transpired last weekend is just the beginning of a shift that's going to begin to take place in this city. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Say amen. amen. I believe it. Amen. We need to walk it. We need to live it. We need to believe it. And we need to follow Him in it. Amen? It's so good to see all your smiling faces. We want to welcome those that are watching online. God bless you right there where you are watching online. And we know that, they, that you're out there. We're praying for you. Also those on television, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. We want you to be blessed right where you are. We are a blessed people. And I believe that God is using this people to bless others. Amen? It's good to have the stars back home from their vacation. Yes, it is. And I just got to say it every week. I'm just so looking forward to the fall when everybody's home, everybody's back at work, back at school, and back at church. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's going to be a great time in the Lord. And I, I'm just so thankful for, for the fall coming up. we got a lot of great things coming. We also want to just remember some people in prayer. We have a lot of families that aren't here today because of sickness. The entire Austin crew, except for Aldo, is here. Right there, yeah. Super Aldo. Uh, the entire Austin crew needs prayer, okay? So uh, there's some sick children on, on in, in both of the Austin clan, and you know, and when the Austins are gone, that's like half our church. So we really want to pray for the Austins uh, that help. They, they really tried. Uh, Sister Jessica messaged me this morning. She even woke everybody up early so that they could kind of get clean and fresh and alive and hopefully they feel okay by the time we're starting to leave and she said no we really need to pray for them there's fevers and you know temperatures and all that so let's pray for all the Austins there's some others that aren't feeling well uh, Sister Michelle is here uh, faithful but I know she's been battling uh, Sister Kathy has been battling but she's here today we just want to come against sickness we want to come against sickness because by his stripes, the Bible says we've yes. already been healed. Yes. It says we're already healed. So we just need to walk in that, believe it, and watch God do something amazing. Amen? Amen. I want to invite my aunt up. I know that uh, she's been here for almost a week, and, and uh, she goes home tomorrow. And she is a minister of the gospel in her own right. Her and my mom, I mean, they tore it up on the islands. And, uh, and she's a preacher girl, and I just want her to be able to greet you and share a word or two with you. So uh, she does her thing, and, and uh, let's just welcome my Aunt Rosalie from Reno. From Hawaii. That's the name from Reno. Okay. Christ living in me. And the life I live in the body, I live by 
about the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. I am crucified, meaning I no longer live, but Christ lives in me, who is the greatest miracle that has risen in my life. He's the greatest miracle that risen in your life. My life. I'm crucified with Christ. He has risen in my life and all my selfishness, doubt and fear, lying, gone. Yes. Let's pray together with her. Heavenly Father, most high. 
high God, we honor you. And we come before your presence with singing. We humble ourselves in the presence of you. And you shall live us up. I speak, oh God, over these young people, Lord. These young men and women that is going forward for your glory. Your blessing, I speak. Blessing and favor. Your arms, your everlasting arms of love and protection surrounding every area of their life. God who began a good work in you will carry on to completion in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. Blessings, blessings upon all these young people coming up ministers for the gospel of God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Give God some praise, can you? Thank you, Lord. I'll tell you what, you know she's serious when she starts bouncing. <laughs> you, need to, you need to heed the word of the Lord when she starts bouncing. <laughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Would you hug somebody's neck around you? Tell them you love her. Tell them how glad you are to see them. And we'll worship the Lord together. Father God, we just thank you so much 
Father, we thank you for the generational pipeline that you've created, Father God. That all the way from the, the oldest to the youngest, the youngest to the oldest, Father God, that you have a plan for us. And Father, I thank you so much for Susie. I thank you for the time that I've been able to spend in her life and just and, and to see her grow and to mature and to and, 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 and to just start pursuing those goals, Father God. And I thank you for being able to be in that life for the future, to see where you take her and to see all the things that you're doing in her and to, to be able to, to continue to train her and to send her out, Father God. Lord, I ask right now that your presence would be all over her, Father. Yeah. Lord, that the personality that you gave her, that she is willing and open to open her mouth, to speak to people, and to just be who she is. Father God, I thank you for that. Give her your spirit like never before. Let, her, let your words be on her mouth like never before. Let that there be an anticipation and an excitement in her of what's going to happen and what she, where she's going. Father God, that your financial blessings, God, Lord, it's going to cost money to do what she wants to do, to do what she feels that you have called her to do. So I ask that your, your, your doors, your gates would be open, Father God, and the blessings would come down upon her. That Lord, as she works, as she works diligently and hard, as, after pursuing you, Jesus, God, that you would just bless her beyond measure. That, that the doors, the physical doors it, 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 that we can see would be open, Father God. Lord, the job that she has right now, let it be blessed. Let the workplace that she's at right now, let it be blessed so that that in turn can bless her, Father God. Lord, the management, Father God, that that, that management would just find this awesome woman of God and just begin to pour out blessings upon her. Whatever that might look like, God, we say yes to that. Father, as she transitions into a new part of her life, that, Father, that you would have your way, that you would have your hand upon her, that, God, that you would go before her and clear the path, that your angels would be posted about her, that when the enemy would try to come in and discourage her, to try to tell her that no, this or, or that's not really what, what God wanted you to do, and you're, it's just a family <laughs> dream, and blah, 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 blah. That God, that you would stand up and that you would continue to show her the vision. That she would stand up and put her foot on the head of the enemy. That it would be under her feet, Jesus. We give you glory, we praise you so much. I thank you so much for this awesome young woman. Bless her in the name of Jesus. In the mighty, awesome, and glorious name of Jesus. Thank you. And everybody says,